Houston Skylab Launch Control, T minus 3 minutes 30 seconds and counting in our countdown for launch of Skylab 1. The launch vehicle test conductor, Norm Carlson, just reported to test supervisor Chuck Henschel that they are cleared for launch, indicating they're ready to go on to the automatic sequencer. Of course, while that sequencer takes over, the team here in the firing room will continue to monitor their various gauges and readouts. They would have the capability of overriding the sequencer if that would be necessary for any reason at all. Firing command is on. We're on the automatic sequencer as we pass now the three-minute mark. Some of the events which will be happening now during this final three minutes as the sequencer has taken over will be terminating the replenishment of the liquid oxygen and the liquid hydrogen. We've been replenishing these since the loading was completed earlier this morning. The events will be closed. These uh, tanks will be pressurized so that we can assure ourselves of a full load of fuel and also so that we can assure a proper flow of that fuel down into the uh, engines during flight. At the T-minus two-minute mark, that pressurization is expected to begin. We'll transfer to the flight batteries from our external power seconds in the countdown, and we'll stay on those flight batteries uh, from 50 seconds on down through the final portion of the count. Approaching the two-minute mark in our countdown now. Mark, T-minus two minutes, and counting toward the launch of Skylab 1. At uh, T-minus 30 seconds, swing arms will start coming back. These swing arms give access to the vehicle and also uh, afford a arm across to the vehicle to carry the propellants and the power to the vehicle. The first stage engines will be building up 7.6 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Liftoff uh, will follow an ignition at 8.9 seconds. We just passed the 90 second mark in the countdown. At 8.9 seconds in the count, we'll expect to get an engine sequence start on the five first stage engines of the Saturn V. They'll build up thrust. That thrust will be monitored. The vehicle will be held down for the full 8.9 seconds, and we'll expect to get liftoff right at T0. We're approaching the one-minute mark in our countdown at this time as it proceeds smoothly. Mark, T-minus one minute, and continuing to count. A water deluge system now has been turned on, activated at the pad area. Pressurization taking place now. The various tanks aboard the vehicle being pressurized, switching to internal power. All stages switching now to internal power. All propellant tanks being pressurized. Count continuing smoothly. The water at the pad covering the uh, flame deflectors. Now we've passed the 30 second mark. Water also will be coming on to the decks of the mobile launcher at the ignition point. T minus 20 seconds and the countdown continues to go smoothly. Guidance release. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have ignition sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And we have a liftoff. The Skylab lifting off the pad now, moving up. Skylab has cleared the tower. Houston is now controlling. Mark, 18 seconds, pitch and roll program started. Saturn now maneuvering to its proper flight path attitude. Mark, 25 seconds. Mark, 30 seconds. 35 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude, uh, looking good. Range safety, uh, give Saturn a green, uh, we've cleared the beach. Mark uh, 50 seconds, two and a half nautical miles in altitude. Uh, ground display data shows good stable thrust on all five engines. Coming up now in one minute. Mark one minute. One minute, five seconds, four nautical miles in altitude. Coming up now in prayer to maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. One minute, 10 seconds. Roll program complete. Uh, pitch profile still in progress. Mark, one minute, 20 seconds, seven nautical miles in altitude. The velocity now reading 2,500 feet per second. 
Mark, one minute, 30 seconds, pass through Max Q, still looking good. Saturn now at 11 nautical miles in altitude, 5 nautical miles downrange, velocity now reading 3,300 feet per second. One minute, 45 seconds, all sources continuing to look good. One minute, 56 seconds. 20 nautical miles in altitude. Two minutes, 10 seconds. Two minutes, 18 seconds. Coming up now uh, on center engine shutdown. Center engine uh, shut down on time. A reports booster system is engineer. Two minutes, 33 seconds, 40 nautical miles in altitude. Standing by now for first stage shutdown. First stage shutdown. Good separation on time. Show good ignition on uh, the five second stage engines. Saturn now 56 nautical miles in altitude, 64 nautical miles downrange, 9,300 feet per second now reading the velocity. The huge uh, first stage of all way now, now out of business. Three minutes, 10 seconds, coming up on skirt set. The interstage has jettisoned on schedule. The 11,400 pound ring dropping away now from the second stage uh, engines. All sources continuing to look good.